Sagittarius, so a blatant message is, I'm hearing, so how are you anyway? Yeah, I'm not doing so good. Oh, uh, what's wrong? So something is wrong with someone, which is normally when you come up with someone's head, but I don't think it is someone's head. I don't know, did someone bump their head? Oh, okay, they're saying that someone could have died. Oh, okay, so I'm hearing condolences or like some, something has happened to somebody here. So Sagittarius, you can also watch this as a Taurus or a Life Path 5 or 5 anywhere. I don't want to go into too much description energy of numerology, but just follow the storyline, okay? Uh, something to do with Leo or an Aquarian, 8. Okay, but I'm hearing, uh, how are you doing anyway? And they're saying, no, I'm not doing very good. Um, I'm grieving. So I'm grieving over Stephen, Stephen or Steve. Or like, no, I'm grieving. I'm grieving. Good grief. Like, I don't know, something seems to have happened where someone could have, could be contacting someone saying, like, I'm sorry, but because, like, someone's passed here. I'm really picking up that someone could, or well, they're saying that someone that could die, okay, that's good, that could die. Good die. Good you? Good you. Good you or good win? Good win or good you? Um, 5.25 on a Monday morning, I'm lying on my own bed. Outside these days, it's a new day, dawn. Dawn. Um... French, someone that's France, from France. Um, I can't sleep a wink, although I'm losing my mind. Uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, all I need is your bedside manner. So it's kind of, I don't know if this is elderly people or someone within your family and someone's really not very good and they're very ill, is what I'm hearing here. Because I, I keep hearing this year, I'm not doing very good. I'm like really struggling at the moment. Now, I don't know if this is grief or um, if it's like I'm just not doing very good because I've just lost someone. Now, I don't know if that's your love life or if that is a physical person or I've just lost a court case or just lost something. But like, I've just lost the love of my life. I've just lost the chance of my life and I've just lost out completely, completely lost. So you really could be dealing with a Virgo, a Virgo, because I would see that as being lost, okay? So I'm hearing like this now, I am completely and utterly lost now. Like, I, I can't get over it or I can't get over because I can't come because I'm ill. Or someone that turns someone down and says, like, I'm sorry, but I can't make that be my sister. <laughs> but like uh, Sagittarius. Um, I can't get over because I'm ill. I can't get over because I just can't get over what's just happened. Or I can't get over my hangover. Or you, uh, something to do with a hangman, which would be a Pisces. And I can't get over the Pisces. I can't get over. I can't make it over. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to say no. I don't know. It's kind of like this possibility of like, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to say no to it. To Steve. Someone's going to say no to Steve. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but like, uh, or Steve's going to say no. I don't know. It's kind of like this Libra energy maybe of like, yes or no. Is it yes? Do you want to? Can you? No, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't get over it. I can't get over. I can't make it over there tonight. I mean, it might even be where someone's like, really ill and something like that and someone saying look can I come over tonight or do you want to come over and they say no I can't because something's just happened and I can't make it I don't know what that is that's stopping a person from making it so like I said it's kind of coming up as grief or an argument or something that's happened or someone that could pass or has passed but I'm hearing uh, good grief what on earth's going on is what I'm hearing like a response of like oh my god what on earth is going on Oh, you won't believe it. Blah, blah, blah. It's just happened. And this has just happened. And everything all just happened at once. And it all come crashing. To, oh, okay. Man, y'all could have something to do with around Scorpio energy. Scorpio energies were a lot to do around. To, fuck, it was the worst reading hell. I'm sorry if you're a cross watcher of Scorpio. But Scorpio is also how I read in numerology. I do not really read star signs, even though you think I do. <laughs> okay. But uh, I read within numerology, really. So you have to follow the channel for a while for a know. And if you don't, you have to look at the videos explaining... Uh, a minute energy of certain things, okay. Um, so obviously you can watch this as a, uh, so like if you're dealing with that Scorpio reading, that would be an Aries as well. So like if you're a Sagittarian, okay, or Taurus, and you're dealing with someone that's like Aries or Scorpio, it's involving them somehow, okay. Or them, M, Emily, Melissa, Maria, Matilda, Michael, Jackson, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jasmine, Jackie, Michelle. But like, <laughs> But like, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like this, I've just found out something and I can't make it. It's kind of like this, I'm trying to make it, but it won't. Like I keep trying to fix what's broken. Like a gym will fix it. But we begin with J. Okay, but like I keep trying to fix it, but it won't. I keep trying to mend the past, but it won't. Mendez, the name Mendez, or Michael, or Michelle, or something. But like I keep trying to mend the past, but I can't, it's broken. 
like trust around a Taurus or a Sagittarian, and I keep hearing that like, I can't because I, I broke it. Like I, I, I mean, is it a physical thing? Like I broke it. I broke into something. I broke in, like a robber. I robbed someone and broke them. Like I'm broke and I don't have any money at all. Like I'm broke, I don't have any money, and it's something to do with around a broke it, a break in, and it's like I can't believe what just happened. Someone just broke into something. Broke in. I don't know, because it feels like descriptive energy of password or something like that of broke in. Like, I physically broke into someone's account. Or like, I physically broke in, because they keep saying broke. Brook, Brook Shields, that came up through Scorpio reading. So like, I broke in and I broke into something and found that you said something or done something or put you or something like that or it was like I found out some news and I found it out and I can't get over it and I'm like, I can't believe this has happened and what do I do man there is some very weird fucking energy around you Sagittarius or Taurus and I can't figure out what it is I don't know if it's like like I just got dumped or I just got like told no and I just tried to do something and then I got told no or I couldn't gain access and I thought that I could but I can't and I tried to gain access to something but when I tried to gain access I realised I was blocked or like I don't know what this is because this came up through the monthlies actually around a, a computer analyst computer like computer based something and I can't get into my password or my business because I locked myself out or I locked myself into something and I got myself into something that I wish I hadn't or like I wish I'd have done this but I didn't and it's something around a Leo or an Aquarium which would be eight okay and it's kind of like this uh, energy of like I wish I'd have just said something before you'd gone like before you'd have gone and said this I wish you'd have just told me already instead of like leading me on or like I wish you'd have just said it said something from from the start because it's kind of like this being like like a trial like maybe something to do with around court right and it's like I wish you'd have just told me for a start instead of like leading me on or like you know I wish you'd have just told me this right from the be fucking beginning the truth and if you'd have told me the truth right from the beginning, then there might have been some kind of way that we could have sorted it out. But you wasn't honest. You actually lied. So I don't know. Is this lying in court or sleeping around or something like that? Or like, I don't know, you slept with an enemy of mine and you slept with someone that you shouldn't have slept with. Because I keep hearing like that. Well, if you, if you hadn't have slept with them, then, you know there might be some kind of way back but you did sleep with someone because I keep hearing a reference of the film of sleeping with the enemy so anything to do with E's or M's or Steve's like S's, M's and E's so anybody beginning with E anybody beginning with M and anybody beginning with S okay so I'm definitely hearing like sleeping with the enemy and you slept with your ex you slept see this was in a Pisces reading and another one I think I think it was around Leo, and I was giving that descriptive energy. It might have even been yours, I can't remember. You have to look at your last one. But I was giving this description energy of, like, Daniel's son. So someone slept with Daniel. Well, this <laughs> Sorry, X, but that is when you pretty much... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> kind of giving out my old news there. But, like, uh, <laughs> it's here. Someone might have Sagittarius in their chart. But, like, I'm... <laughs> so Sorry, but, like, I'm hearing that. So I'm hearing, again, the same message that came up in another reading and a few of them. You went from here to here to here. And somebody went and stuck their bingo dobber in somebody. And their bingo dobber now is kind of like where you're playing bingo now. You're kind of like, well, fucking hell, there's twos and fours and threes all up in the place. So there's like a two and a Libra. And then there's also a four, which is like a Scorpio. There's also like a three, which is like a Pisces energy. And it's kind of like this, well, you know, you went across there and you stuck your bingo dobber in them and blah, blah, blah. And then you come back to me expecting me to give you another chance because you slept with your ex. Because you went with your ex and your ex now abandoned you. And now you end up wanting me because you slept with them. And now because you slept with them, you want to now sleep with me, but you slept with your ex. <laughs> so it's kind of like that. Like somebody went and slept with a person and then they come back expecting forgiveness. But then the person's like, well, hold on a minute. 
didn't you sleep with your ex? And they're like, well, yeah, well, I kind of learned a lesson through that. And you're like, well, you might have learned a lesson, but you probably also got an STD or something. <laughs> so they're kind of like, well, now it's kind of like, now I don't really want to sleep with you. Now I, I, I don't even know if I really want to talk with you because it is, it's this classic uh, scenario, what I come up with spiritually connecting with spirit and channeling for people is that film, which is Sleeping with the Enemy. Uh, Demi Moore, okay, so anybody who begin with D or N, okay, but like uh, Danger Mouse or Penfold or something, like, like, you know, you slept with something that was very dangerous and you did something like out of a whim that was very dangerous and kind of now you did that, now I'm kind of like in fear of my life or like, I don't know, I'm just in fear. So it's around, it's around Leo, okay. Now I'm like fearful now. So a lot of you are just like, plain and simple riddled with fucking PTSD because too much of a riddle to try and fiddle out. Okay, someone's fiddling with something or someone. <laughs> like, fiddling with someone, I don't know. Fiddling? I would fiddle with that. Fiddle me this, fiddle me that, riddle me this, riddle me that. Can you riddle this fiddle? <laughs> Can you suck on my fiddle? I mean, I don't know, somebody wants to fiddle with someone or something. I don't know. Fiddle me this, fiddle me that, riddle me this, riddle me that. Is it a joke? Is it a joker? Joe. The name Joe, Joanne, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jasmine. <laughs> but like uh, Jackson, Five, Julian, Jackson, Jackie. Fuck knows. All of you all up in here. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know what this is. Because I'm going to look at the analogy of the film. Of what they get me to look at. Which is like you slept with someone. Kind of like, well I'll pay you. Because in the film he said, look I'll pay you a million dollars in order to be able to sleep with this person. Blah, blah, blah. And because you slept with them, when they go back to the actual relationship, they realise that it was kind of like the trust had gone, really. You know, it wasn't really anything to do with money or anything like that. Unless it is. Is it to do with money? I don't know what's going on in your fucking life, Sagittarius. What the fuck is it? Or Taurus. Like, now, all I'm going to stick with is, is, is this something to do with the around relationship? Like, you slept with somebody and now you slept with them now you want me to forgive you for sleeping with your ex and, you're, and they're kind of like well yeah we weren't really in a commitment then I was free to go off and sleep with anyone that I wanted and you're kind of like well you might do but I really don't know if I want to stir that custard like, do you know what I'm saying like you know you went and slept with someone and now you're coming back to me and that you now expect that I want to sleep with you because you slept with someone else it's kind of like that like well, I really don't know. Like, I don't know what to say to you now. Like, it's kind of like that. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of like that. Well, you know, you fucking slept with someone. You slept with your ex. <laughs> so, well, it's not for everybody. If anybody out there slept with their ex, and then it's kind of like, well, they, you know, you slept with someone, blah, blah, blah. And now it's kind of like made things where it's kind of like now very suspicious of where, I don't know, for some of you, you might find that you can't get close to anyone because they slept with someone else. And you, because I'm hearing that you're sleeping, actually sleeping with the actual enemy itself, which means that you might now see each other as an enemy against each other because of the trust being broken within five, which is Taurus, which is also Sagittarius. Because it means that you went outside of a commitment to come back to a commitment, and now the energy is now where you're sleeping in bed with me, where we are now more like against each other than what we are actually for each other, which is why you've got the energy of four, which is Scorpio Aries. And it's kind of like, well, you know, you were part of a group and you were in that group and you left and then you come back expecting. I don't know. It's kind of like this very competitive energy of like, well, you left and if you walked out on me and you left and when you come back, you've got nowhere to go. So where do you go from now? And that is probably why I'm kind of feeling like this call of someone that's kind of like calling someone up or something where the beginning message was a message to a person from a person like you're never going to believe what happens like something happened and blah 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 and I found out something and you, you you're not going to believe what happened like is what I'm hearing like it's it's from a person to a person okay so Paula Pucci Pisces anybody beginning with P but like you're never going to believe what happens something just happens and because that just happened, now it's changed everything. Now everything is changed because I have to let you know that something happened. Right? That something started and someone wanted to finish it and complete it, but it never got completed. I mean, what is it, a karmic energy? 
I don't know. I mean, is it around sleeping with someone else or is it around like someone saying to someone like I'm really going to have to tell you what happened because is it where someone comes to someone for the, with the like they come to a person with the truth, right? And they come to them with the truth, but they don't know what that response is going to be when they tell the truth. Because it's kind of like, look, I've got loads of stuff to tell you about what happened. Now, that's either a friend or it is someone that's going to say, look, I really need to tell you all of this stuff, what really happened, <laughs> right? And then the response from the other person isn't quite what they expect when they tell them. Because even if it was lying, it means that someone was lying, sleeping around or physically lying and then when it appears up to be the truth it's kind of like well you was lying like you made me believe that you were something or like I thought that you were this or something and then you appeared up where you're really not that person that I thought you were all along like you made me believe that you were someone or you made me believe that you were sleeping with someone but then you come back to me actually telling me that you actually didn't sleep with someone or that you did sleep with someone or that you come up that you are a person but you're actually not and it's kind of like this, I don't know, like this very fake energy of like, I can't figure out what it is around like, well, you made me believe that you were something and then you made me believe. You see, too, fuck, bro, there's too many people believing in stuff that isn't real. I don't know. Kind of like it, it came up through the last reading of, I called it the unknown soldier, the unknown metaphysical soldier, right, which would relate to Aries because I would see that as Chiron. Okay, Chiron, which is it's actually where I have it as well. But like, um, like, do I have Chiron and Aries? I don't know, I can't remember. But like, I'm picking up like Chiron, and I'm picking up like Aries, like the wounded warrior, okay? And that I'm wounded, and it's something to do with, I mean, I'm sure that's where I have Aries, uh, Chiron. But like, uh, you know, I've got fucking sciatica, like I've got a bad back, well, a bad hip. So it's kind of like this, someone could have broke something, or they're ill or they're I don't know mentally ill physically ill I just don't know like everything happens at once where it's kind of like now I am so under the weather Heather so Heather H Haley. someone someone that's called Haley, Hey or Lee Haley, and then a man's so woman's name Haley, and then a man's name called Lee Haley, Haley. So someone's also going, hey Lee, <laughs> hey, not, not the woman's name is in Haley, but like, hey Lee, hey Lee. The fuck is that weird message? Hey Lee. I can hear it, they keep saying, hey Lee, hey Lee, hey Lee, are you there, hey Lee? Hey Lee, are you okay, hey Lee? Hey Lee, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Annie, Pollyanne, you are right, Pollyanne? Is everything all right with you, Pollyanne? What is that for? Because I keep hearing like, uh, Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Michael, Jackson, Julian, Justin, Justin, Jack and Jasmine, M's, anybody beginning with E or M? Okay. But I'm picking up like, Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Hello, are you okay? Are you okay? Hello, 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 are you okay? Hello, hello, uh, hello, uh, hello, are you okay? So I don't know what that's for. Hello, are you okay? So I don't know, that's what I'm saying. There's someone that's, that's kind of like, uh, talking to someone here through grief or something that's happened to say fucking hell are you okay like something's happened and they're like bloody hell bruv are you all right <laughs> you're right down there tyrone how are you doing <laughs> but like that still a message fucking hell bruv are you all right <laughs> you want to pick yourself up of the floor bruv are you all right down there no oh, i'm fucking not all right well what's the matter <laughs> Well, I'm fucking on the floor, and I, somebody's fucking on the floor. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's like, well, you're on the floor now. You're on the floor. What, is that laughing? <laughs> I'm on the floor now. Ah! That came up through Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you had this before. You had this in your last reading, didn't you? Where I was going, ah! 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 So it, there you go. Is this already happened now? And you're like, fuck Steve. <laughs> fuck someone wants to fuck Steve. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. But <laughs> woo, I'm going red. But like, uh, unless you know another one. But uh, yeah, there you go. It's just, it just reminded me through Charlie. 
You guys had this. Ah, 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 ah. Someone's fucking moaning. Or it was like someone's in physical pain or they had the wrong tooth pulled out or something like that. Well, now, <laughs> through this week, you now seem to have the aftermath of like, fucking hell, brother, you all right? <laughs> you know, something, whatever that is, is either moaning or physical pain or backache or something. But like, ah, ah, ah. ah. You're right. Ah, <laughs> you've got it again. So, I don't know. It's either heartache, or it's uh, a physical loss, or someone actually has done what I predicted—a budgie, <laughs> abandoned someone, maybe, or like uh, I don't know. They've done something where it's kind of like, well, that's karma for you, <laughs> right? You got hurt, or like I don't know. You'd stuck your dobber in somewhere that you shouldn't have, and because you did, or like. Oh no, I just stuck my nose in all of this business that I had no place in fucking knowing and now I'm fucking hurt because they hurt my feelings because I shouldn't have been poking around in people's business. Oh no, now I have found out what really happened. That's also fucking hurtful, right? Someone finds out info that they shouldn't know and because they did, they open Pandora's box and realise, well, what happens in Pandora's box right at the end? Well, it's full of hope, but more hope and fears, really. So it's kind of like that. Well, I was hoping... And I was hoping, and I was wishing, but then what happened? Ah! <laughs> it's all I can hear. Like, I opened up a fucking box of, I don't know, I opened up a box of hornet's nest or something. I opened up a box of fucking, I mean, did you open up a box? You, What's in the box? You could be dealing with a seven. Life path. I opened up their box, and then when I opened it, I realised there was nothing in it, apart from a fucking severed head. <laughs> So, like, I don't know, unless someone's got their head in a box. Why would you have a head in a box? Really? <laughs> what kind of head is that, anyway? Something in a box. There is something in a box. I'm living in a cardboard box. Well, you could be homeless. You, that's probably why you're living in a cardboard box. You're like, oh, fuck me. Ah! Now I've got nowhere to go. I'm homeless. I'm actually living in a cardboard box. That's going to hurt. Right? So I'm hearing now I'm living in a box. Now. Oh, okay. So, okay, sorry for my ignorance, someone really could have buried somebody here, okay, somebody really could be burying someone, or someone could bury someone, Holly, Holly bury or bury, but like, uh, not saying that that's that person's name, I'm just saying, Percy, Paula, Pucci, Pisces, don't know, all peas all up in here, but box, so I would look at a crypt, so I would mean something around Scorpio, okay, something around Scorpio, um, so yeah, I mean Biden came up in the last reading that I did, but I tried to steer away from that, which was in the Scorpio reading. But well, there you go, probably living in a box, right? Living abandoned, kicked out, told no, there you go, told you. you got one month, you got one month, and we are coming up to September. And I think I said this back in August. Okay, but time can never be predicted as such. Well, <laughs> fuck no, Sagittarius, because basically you had that, ah, before, and now you've had this, like, ah, well, I told you so. <laughs> right? And it's like, yeah, well, you can't fucking tell me not to do that. I did it. Well, that's what I'm saying. When it comes up as a prediction, you can't stop it. You can watch, like I said, if you watch the Sagittarian reading, and you picked up all of those signs of, like, ah, ah, and now, ah, oh, now I am in pain, happened. There you go. There's the prediction. You cannot stop what it's meant to be. It's meant to be. You can watch a fucking reading and think, oh, you know what? I'm going to end up in pain in there. But whilst, meanwhile, I forgot Steve's reading and I've floated around 10 billion and then came back and watched this one and realised, well, fuck me, Ooter. <laughs> fuck my router, bruv. Something to do with your router. Something to do around your internet provider or your router or your router. Router. Somebody wants to root someone. Root. I'm up through Scorpio, rooting. Well, who are you rooting? Well, in <laughs> in Britain, that's pretty much what you would say to a geezer, bruv. You all right, bruv? Who are you rooting these days? That means that you're sticking your root in someone to grow something. So, <laughs> not a plant. Unless it's weed. Someone's smoking the herb, talking the weed, trying to get over the pain, numb the pain. It's called pain, or you live in Spain, or someone lives around that era. Era. Aaron. Karen. Karen. Karen or Karen. Karens, the fucking moaning people. That's what you call them over in America, aren't you? Someone that's a Karen. Unless you are called Karen, then I do apologise. 
But like, you know, it's normally what you call them over in America. And a Karen comes out and starts complaining. Oh, listen, back and telling you, man, man. You fucking mind your own business, sweetie. I'll go back in there and stuff your face full of like lettuce. Oh, well, I'm telling you. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. No one's listening to me anymore. So who do I moan at? The floor. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know, someone moans a lot. Or like, I don't know, fuck, oh, I don't give a fuck. Stop moaning. <laughs> right, but I'm, I'm, I'm physically picking it up as like physical pain, to be honest with you. I, I really don't know what's coming up in your energy. Some weird bollocks, as usual, Sagittarius. <laughs> but like, uh, you know, there you go. So uh, anyway, let's see. Sagittarius, somebody write Venus, Jupiter, North Node. What's going on with them for the first week of September, please? New deck. So you'll have to give me a moment to tap in, even though you've more well, than likely fucking had your reading. <laughs> Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Or Taurus or Lepa 5. Let's see. Oh, the four of wands. Everything is rosy in gym when you're in a gym jelly and juice and Justin and you're leaving one. <laughs> but you're kind of like, well, I'm already married. Are you? Oh, no. Yeah, well, I'm already married. Oh. Damn, you shouldn't have gone and stuck your bingo dobber in someone else. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, well, I'm married. Are you? Oh, no, really? Someone, that's probably why why someone gets hurt. They're kind of like, oh, no, I'm married. Oh, are you? Oh. <laughs> but like, uh, yeah, no, well, you're in a twin flame saga anyway. Good health, home. Uh, home is where the heart is. I would rather just stay at home. Well, I have no choice because I'm moaning and I'm ill. Uh, I'm just going to stay at home. <laughs> so I'm hearing. Let's do it at home. Uh, anyway, I'm also hearing Mick Hucknell again because he had a very good fucking music track called Home. Anybody? It was a red album by Mick Hucknell. Mick Hucknell actually come up of in the last one of Something's Getting Started. Okay, um, but like uh, Mick Hucknell done a, a very good fucking album. I think it was actually called Home, and the song on the album itself was called Home. Okay, listen to it. Look it up on YouTube. Mick Hucknell Home. Okay, you probably get some messages through there, um, but yeah, home from home. I'm living from home from home, um, or Holmes, Sherlock Holmes, someone of emotional intelligence. Here, four Scorpio Aries. I am home from home. I am working from home. This person also works from home. Itself, they work from home. I'm also hearing wig wham bam gonna make you my man wham bam bam gonna get you if I can wig wham bam gonna make you understand wham bam bam somebody wants a wham bam or a wham bar wham bar wham bar wham bar wham bar wham bar yeah wee bar yeah wee bar somebody like squirt like a wee wee ha I mean do you have horses horses or a pig farm, I don't know. But I'm hearing, squeal like a pig. <laughs> so somebody wants to do the old wigwam with someone. What position would you like to do tonight? Well, we can do the wigwam. <laughs> this is what I'm hearing. Unless someone's from India, India, Indiana, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Somebody's making a temple or someone is from India, Indiana. Or the name Anna. I keep hearing Anne or Annabelle or Anna. Let's see. Uh, Sagittarius, somebody rising Venus, Jupiter, North Node. Four. Sorry for all the commotion. Uh, Sagittarius, four, uh, the first of September. Uh, sorry, <laughs> for the first week of September for Sagittarius. Woo, so you're definitely working on it with someone. The money, money, money you really can be dealing with an Aquarian or a Leo, number eight, K okay, star. But like uh, this person's a star in my eyes. Tonight, Matthew, I want to be with a star. <laughs> Somebody wants to sleep with a star. I don't know, someone that's famous, maybe. When will I, will I be famous? I can't answer, I can't answer that. It's like, oh, I can't answer that, but I'll answer it for you. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I will talk to you because that's the alchemy. Or alchemy in you. Yes, I know. Um, she has a Sagittarian placement of moon. So, um, I don't know. Uh, Eight of Pentacles would also be a tarot card reader as well. You're either getting a tarot card reader or you're interested in a tarot card reader itself. 
or you are one. You either do one, or <laughs> I'm hearing I'd do one. Ooh, someone would do run, 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 you do run, run. Yeah, you make me wet. <laughs> Just don't live in regret when you do run, 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 you do run, run. Do you run your own business? Yeah, what do you do? I'm a tarot card reader. Really? Are you a Scorpio rising? Yeah, I'm a Scorpio rising. Wow. <laughs> but, uh, uh, master, the master of none. So, um, yeah, what do you have the old call that? Um, fuck, I don't know. I always struggle when it comes to that. Someone that's very well accomplished, but never, never, ever is a master of anything, really. You can never really be an ascendant master because you would be dead. <laughs> okay, so you're ascending all of the time. But I'm hearing, I'm sending you some money. I am sending you some love. I am sending, oh, I'm someone sending quite a lot, <laughs> honestly. I'm hearing, well, I'm going to send you quite a lot of this, and you can have more of it. Because I like, uh, I'm, I'm also hearing like a Lloyd's Dumb and Dumber moment, like, I like you a lot, Jani. <laughs> but like, uh, I like you a lot. I know what love is, Jani. So do you know what love is? Well, I'll send you a bit more if you want. Or like, unless it's just money. But like, if you want some more, you can have some more. Please, sir, can I have some more? Yeah, you can have some more if you want it. So someone's building up a connection of this four of wands. Now, this person's either already married. It might not be a love connection, but it's money. It's like, well, it's money, isn't it? So someone's trying to use money for nothing. Like, no, I'm just going to give you this for nothing. It's like a donation. It's a little bit like super chats that are at the bottom of the uh, thing here. Okay, like super chats. Super chats. <laughs> and it's also like at the end of the video, they have like a super, super chat where you can just leave money anytime you like. And it's also like PayPal below. But, but like, uh, yeah, I'm hearing, well, I'm going to send you this and I'm going to send you that and I'm going to send you this and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Someone sending someone a lot of bits and pieces of themselves is what I'm hearing. Well, I'm going to send you a bit of this of me and then a bit of that of me. I mean, it could just be information. I don't know. It could be sharing an energy of like, okay, I'm very caring. I'm very considerate. You are, I am. So I'm going to share something with you. Right. It could be money, could be assets, could be bills, could be, you know, but like, you know, I'm going to share this with you because I trust you with it. So there's a very trusting energy here. Okay. Very trusting because someone's very skillful at what they do within their job. Okay. Which means that their job is attracting them into, well, it could be your own job, whatever it is, your job or their job or a blo oh, whoo, somebody wants to chuff on someone's job anyway. So unless you smoke for a living, somebody wants to chuff on a job, really? Be interesting. How on earth you can suck on a job? I've got no idea. But uh, yeah. So how would you do a job where you would suck on the job? Some of you are just crap on the job. <laughs> I'm just putting it that way. Well, I'm just crap at that job. <laughs> like I, I just suck at that job. I don't know. Somebody wants to suck on someone's job. I don't know. Why would you do that? So what would you do if you had a job and you had to suck? <laughs> um, I don't know. Glass blowing? But that would be blowing, right? So what do you do? Glass blowing or something? Like, pfft. What's it do? Well, bruv, you just listen, it's magic. Just stroke it. It does things. Does it? What's it do? It spits at you for one. Oh, does it? What is it? Snake? Yeah. It's magic, don't you know? It's like, what's it do? Just, well, just, you have to touch it to see what it does. It's magic, bruv. <laughs> so, uh, someone's got the magic. They work their magic. Unless listen, it's not black magic. Hit your head. Like, they work their magic. Okay, now Tyrone, what's that down there? Well, it's, well, it's me dodgy, bruv, isn't it? Is it? What's it do? I don't know. Well, it gives you a surprise when you touch it. Do you want to touch it? <laughs> so I can hear. Somebody names their toys by a name. Well, it's Bob. Oh, is it? What does it do? Well, it's, it's there. You just have to touch it to start it. Oh, I know what Bob is. Okay, now I get you. It's a thing that sits there and it doesn't do much, but then when you touch it, it suddenly comes alive. <laughs> That's what I'm picking up for you, Sagittarius. The moment I connect and the moment I feel like I'm touching it, or the, like, I don't know, because I'm also hearing move closer as well, like move closer, 
Move your body real close until we feel like we're really making up. So I don't know why I keep picking up this descriptive energy of like, well, what is it? Well, it's a surprise, Chantel. It's right there. Oh, what's it do? Well, touch it, stroke it, see what happens. It's magic. Ah, it's a kind of magic. One dream, one goal. One golden glance, one golden coin. A golden coin. I mean, what is it? Fucking, like, uh, what do you call it? Like, sloth and chunky and all that kind of stuff? Like, I don't know, someone's a chunky monkey or something like that. Or just like, oh, you're a chunky monkey. What would you do with your chunky monkey? <laughs> Unless you're eating Rocky Road. Put the ice cream down, I told you. But, like, um, chunky monkey ice cream. Well, I'll get you a chunky little monkey. Something like that. But, um, yeah. Check out the big brains on brands. It's like, check out the bigness of that. Someone's big. <laughs> big. Here in big. Anyway, let's have a look. Sagittarius, some of you guys have been as stupid enough. No, it's. But someone loves someone's big bits, is what I'm hearing. I like them big. Someone likes things that are big. I'm just putting it that way. I like them when they're big. <laughs> I like the big. What's that? Anyway, let's see. Sagittarius. <sighs> Fucking money, money, money. It must be funny in a rich man's world. Uh, study craftsmanship I am a master of my craft the craft of some the master of none there you go the craftsman someone that's very skillful at what they do in their work and their job they play close details to what it is that they do very skilled some of you you're a locksmith because I'm hearing that someone that like that like scribes things okay uh, like key cutting. I'm hearing I need a key cut. I need a haircut. Some of you are getting a haircut or a key cut. A key cut. Kiki? Kiki. Keely? Kisi? Casey? Nice that. Kiki? Uh, but like someone's getting very kinky also, like kinky. 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 I'm thinking kinky thoughts. Are you thinking kinky thoughts? Well, if you think kinky thoughts and I think kinky thoughts, then we're thinking kinky thoughts. So, I mean, what are you, kiki D? <laughs> right. What's that with uh, Elton John and Kiki D? Don't go breaking my heart. I couldn't if I tried. Oh, darling, if I was soon. You're not that kind. Ba, 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 ba. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nobody knows it. Nobody knows. Because when I was gone. Yeah, someone doesn't know it. They're kind of like, well, you're a poet and you don't know it and you don't know what I feel for you. Like, well, you don't know yet. <laughs> so someone's like, you don't know. You just don't know the half of it. I don't know where your channeled messages came from because these cards definitely do not say that. They say work, money, skilled work, craftsman, third party if you're in one. Definitely if you're in soulmate, twin flame energy, third parties are normally natural there because it's building connection of ascension. Get, look, get used to that if you're on the spiritual journey. Okay. Working on it, working on the relationship, but someone could be already married in a relationship that wants to or can't help but go outside of it. Right? I can't help but go outside of the marriage or the relationship because I have a spiritual calling with another person. That's what people don't understand, definitely when you're married already, that you have the desire of a spiritual connection that is put to you and given to you by spirit. What's the first thing that you blame? A human for having a supernatural experience with another. Okay, So not everybody's going to understand. But the people that are spiritual will. But normally when you meet a spiritual person that meets a spiritual person, there are people that also will not understand. <laughs> right? So it's gaining to getting to know you. Because I'm hearing well, it's getting to know you, getting to know you. Or well, somebody is... 
Could be in your soul group, because I'm a soul group reader also. So you've got like Pisces energy, Aquarius, Leo, and then you've got Scorpio people and also Aries here. Uh, Sagittarius, life path three, life path eight, life path four. Um, because life path three would obviously be a Pisces, life path eight would be a Aquarius Leo, and life path four would also come up as a Scorpio or Aries. Sagittarius, uh, the hidden man. <laughs> I'm looking at the man in the mirror, but I haven't, because I haven't seen your face. This came up. The Emperor, Scorpio, came up in their reading. I haven't seen you before. That's why it's a four. Four and four. Four, four. I haven't seen you before. Unless it's a new person that you're just about to meet, or you're interested in another four. So what have you got? Eight, which is there. So I don't know. There's a lot of this, like, well, it's your move, but, like, how can I see you behind the behind that mask so it's kind of like basically really getting to know somebody here is all this person is also an entrepreneur this person is very good with finances and money 100 percent finances money education career well educated doesn't matter like myself me i am like um i'm dyslexic like richard branson but i'm very good with business but i just can't read and spell very well but fuck who gives a shit bro i can read codes and if I can read code, trust me, you better fucking understand that I can read your life. And if I can do that, that's because I'll follow what I'm meant to do. But like, um, yeah, there's this energy here that came up around Scorpios. But a lot of those, the placements of four, they were trying to get out away from this husband or wife here through the separation to start over. And it's kind of coming through in this energy here. The man with many faces. I'm also picking up someone here of this kind of ascent in the background there as well. This could be one of past people that this person could have also maybe been with. Because at the back there, there are three faces. Which face would you like to wear tonight? Actually, there's four. Four faces. Someone could be talking to four people. I don't know why, but I keep picking up this kind of uh, Indian or something like that. Indiana Jones, but someone from India. Okay, India. Uh, Salalakam, right? Salalakam. Um, but yeah. So very wealthy, very healthy. I just don't know if this is a very healthy connection yet. Okay. What's I hearing the name Sal? So through Salah, I, I, I really can't remember uh, Salalakam. But uh, anyway, why am I hearing a con? Con it? Michael Con it. That's me, mate. What's he? A Cantarian. Cantarian. Um, a con artist or a con? Or is it a con? Or is it Comic Con? Comic Con. Eminem. So, uh, not Eminem. <laughs> Comic Con, which was uh, Marvel. So, anybody beginning with M? Or Vol? Really? Vol? Let's go to the vault. <laughs> oh, come on, Pippin. Let's go to the vault and see how much money we've got in there. Mm, someone's accumulating quite a lot of wealth here because you have got, like, Manai Janai is what I'm picking up. Even though this is the emperor, I'm picking up this is my empire. My empire state but Oh, okay. The empire state building. Scorpio energies. You have to watch the Capricorn and the predictions of hearing the empire state building but i'm also hearing the empire my empire some sort of like rap artist or an empire my empire pyre pyre someone eats papaya 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 someone's on a diet eating papaya pick up a penguin some of you are just eating penguins put down the chocolate some of you are doing well and you're eating papaya <laughs> fruit the fruits of my labour. This is also the British Labour Party as well. Mm. <laughs> uh, but like, uh, yeah, labour. Some of you could be in labour or you are a labourer. Like you're a craftsman. Craftsman, labourer. A skilled worker of a skilled worker. The labourer. Uh, anyway, yeah, so... Where are we? What fucking day is it? Well, four, 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 four. As I looked up, four, 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 four. There you go. Four, 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 four,
Some of it's French. Man, they are French people. Man, they are got such an attractive accent. The people that are in French, <laughs> that are in French. <laughs> uh, yeah, France. Because I'm hearing four, 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 four. Ooh, I'm actually hearing. Wow, that poor four. <laughs> so that might be Scorpio Aries. Wow, that poor four. Anyway, so what you had there, that was very strange. Four, 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 and you've got four and four here. So you really got to be doing like a Scorpio Aries. 100%. Sagittarius, there you go. So that's what I've got for you so far. If you want to watch the rest of your reading, it will only go to the full access bundle. This is only really supposed to be the first week. Normally it only comes out on Patreon, but I got a new deck and I thought, you know what? I've not really read these cards before. I always, always read from a Rider right Waite basis of any card that basically re re relates to a... So this is the first time really I've ever looked at any kind of cards other than a Rider right Waite deck, to be honest. So what do you think? How did I do? All right. Uh, but yeah, I like them. They're kind of giving me different messages through the cards, to be honest. But if you want to watch the rest of it, it'll be on the full access bundle. You can find the link below. If you are already a member, a member, use the app. If you're not a member and you want to become one, use the link. Okay, the link will send you to join. If you've already joined, use the app that you've downloaded on your phone. Okay, that's probably why. But anyway, personal email, uh, Skype, uh, sorry. <laughs> um, uh, all the info's below. Thanks very much, Sagittarius.